are we? San Luis Obispo. Um, I've been out here for several days uh, shooting a project for the California Tourism Board, which has been super cool. Um, so yeah, um, today I'm leaving. Everybody's gone. I'm left and uh, just got to pack up my things and uh, head to the airport. But first, we're gonna stop by, get something that's called a dupe. a ride right here I got my doobie which is a breakfast burrito and I've been talking with Andy um, Andy was telling me he traveled for how many months about seven months out of the year last year and how'd you finance that finance it through selling wine there you go driving Uber. <laughs> there you go <laughs> the dream the dream is alive and well here in uh, San Luis Obispo I just want to introduce you to him because he's a perfect example of what you can do if you really want to travel full-time work hard save your pennies and then take off Cool, man. Um, All right. Nice talking with nice you. Nice to meet you, Jack. Yeah, thanks for the ride. Now it's time to get on this flight. A really small airplane out there. It looks like a private jet. Just like that, we're back in Portland. Uh, one of my favorite tricks when I fly into an airport and need to get picked up is I like to go to departures, which is normally upstairs, because look, there's like nobody here, and it's really easy to get picked up. However, my pet peeve when I arrive to an airport is when you tell someone what time you're gonna be there, and after a long day's travel, you wait, and wait, and wait. The man Jackson picked me up. What up? Thanks, dude. Of course. Appreciate it. Although he was late. Why were you why were you late? No comment, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> busted! Busted, super busted. I have a theory, it's because they think all the flights and the baggage take longer than they really do. But I'm always early here. And the, it took me like seven minutes, five, five to seven minutes to get my bag and be outside. But I appreciate the ride, so high five. Of course, bro. Yeah, not high try. Five. Yeah, beggars can't be choosers, especially when you uh, get a free ride from the airport. You know no, what I mean? He pices me up every single time, and he's always on time, so my bad. I'll be on time next time. <laughs> oh, snap. There we go. Yeah. Training him, just like a dog. <laughs> I, I can't lie. I was eating a burger. <laughs> what kind of burger? It was from Five Guys. Was it worth it? No, it was not worth it. I don't like to eat meat too much, but I was just, I needed some protein. Yeah. So, sidetracked, segue. You get, you get fries? I got fries. There we go. Yes. Guys, I'm back. I'm back inside Dan the Adventure Bus. And I gotta say, just like the feeling of returning home, to your home after being gone, returning to mine feels the same way. Um, this is definitely my home and <laughs> I definitely feel comfortable here. So it's good to be back. I'm trying to do some collabs coming up to grow the channel and uh, you know get the project out there. So uh, I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea how long I'm going to stay. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions of who I should uh, do a video with, throw them in the comments below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next upload.